as you know, a lot of Republicans could not be here tonight because it is dollar drink night at the Bondage Club, so unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> and Michael Steele is here. Where is Michael? There you are, Mike. Michael, this has got to be pretty boring entertainment for you, isn't it? I know what you guys are used to. Ah, a couple of guys talking. Come on. Uh. That was my favorite story. Republicans and a lesbian bondage club. It's ironic. Republicans don't want lesbians getting married, but they do like to watch them tie the knot. So I thought that was interesting. I did think that was interesting. See, Washington is a very scary place between Republicans going to bondage clubs, the SEC looking at porn. I can't wait to get back to Hollywood, someplace wholesome where people have values. <laughs> To talk about White House security for a moment. Now, it's supposed to be the most secure place in the world. Now, here's President Obama and Vice President Joe Biden, the two most powerful men in the world. Now, watch the door behind them. How does this happen? Take a look. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Tonight, after nearly 100 years of talk and frustration. Who's that guy? How did he get in there? Who was that? Is he on the tour? Did he wander off? And according to the uh, Pentagon, Al-Qaeda is in financial ruin. You know what broke them? Health insurance premiums. That's what it... Do you know the monthly premium for a suicide bomber? You have any idea what it is? You know, I was thinking about this. If you took... Uh, all the money Republicans spent trying to stop health care, all the money Democrats have spent trying to get health care, you know something? We could have had health care. We could have had a couple of years ago. Now, supporters of this bill say that uh, the American people will now get the same health benefits that members of Congress get. And of course, that's great. How about some of the other perks? The free travel, those envelopes with the cash in them. How about some of that? Huh? Huh? The get out of jail free cards. Why can't we get that? <laughs> But, Mr. President, you did a great job on the passage of the health care bill, but you have to give a lot of credit to Nancy Pelosi for the way she sold it to the American people. Uh, well, did you see? The way she sold it, she went to the new media. She went to YouTube. Here, take a look. In order to have quality, affordable health care for all Americans, it is essential that everyone participate when they are well and not just join in when they are sick. So it's all better quality, lower cost, more access if everyone is mandated. And you have to admit that President Obama's mood really changed once that health care bill passed. Because I watch the shows every day, and I would see you come into the press room before the bill passed, you know, kind of slumped over, looking a little depressed, didn't have the spark. Here's the president the day after the health care bill was signed. Take a look. President Obama is uh, just beyond the door, so he should step in here in just a second. Y'all ready for this? And as you know, Secretary of Defense Robert Gates announced that the Pentagon will ease up on its enforcement of the don't ask, don't tell policy. They said that the homosexual behavior will still be against the rules, but nobody will be actively enforcing it. Kind of like the ethics regulations in Congress. It's basically the same sort of deal. Of course, David Axelrod is here. Where is David? Yeah. He's one of the people, of course, most responsible for helping to get President Obama elected. Without him, it might have been John McCain, and this would have been an early bird dinner. We'd be eating at 4.30. Huh? <laughs> You'd be home watching Wheel of Fortune right now. And of course, uh, David Axelrod was on my show a week ago Friday, actually. He was on with the star of the movie Kick-Ass. And when I, when I told him he was going to be on with Kick-Ass, he said, Brahms here? What? <laughs> and of course, you know, as you mentioned, Eric Massa claimed that Rom confronted him in the congressional gym shower. And of course, people were shocked. Congress has a gym? Anybody in Congress look like they work out, huh? <laughs> huh? Did it take Barney Frank 30 years to get that body? Really? Him alone every day? Huh? Uh, what's Harry Reid bench pressing? Five pounds now? And as you know, the president has the most diverse staff in history. They represent every ward of Chicago. And I think that is fantastic, Mr. President. Fantastic. We have a lot of movie stars. Michael Douglas is here. Where's Michael? Michael Douglas? 
As you know, he won an Oscar for the portrayal of an evil, greedy Wall Street broker who was willing to manipulate the market for his own personal gain. Where does Hollywood come up with these crazy ideas? Uh, Bill Maher. Where's Bill Maher? Bill, you here? Bill Maher, one of my favorite comedians. Bill is the reason we had no opening prayer tonight. They were afraid he would boo, so we couldn't do that, so I'm sorry. And speaking of that, you know, everybody complains about the lack of civility on both sides. You see it in sports, you see it in politics. I think we have the answer. Take a look. The forms I am proposing would not apply to those who are here illegal. Are you tired of people saying what's on their mind? Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Everyone's got an opinion, and they're all compelled to share it with others. Well, those annoying comments can go away with this duct tape. Just a few inches of this gray, sticky fabric solves it all. Duct tape, the all-American solution to everything. Of course, Osama bin Laden now releasing tapes blaming the United States for global warming. You know, I think he's running out of ideas. Huh? That's the best you can do. Even the United States blames the United States for global warming. I think he wants to quit Al-Qaeda and join Al Gore, basically. I think. It and as you know, President Obama has been promoting alternative uh, energy. Texas State University has now developed exercise equipment that operates electricity when you exercise. See, they're hoping that one day people will be able to generate enough power from their home by exercising. Huh? Well, you thought Americans were hiring a lot of illegal aliens before. Huh? Manuel, keep pedaling! <laughs> And last month, you mentioned uh, President Obama threw out the first pitch at the Washington Nationals uh, game against the Philadelphia Phillies. But he didn't tell you that Biden got kicked out for cursing at the umpire. You didn't bring that up, Mr. President. Did you see the pitch? Was not, it was not a good pitch, no. But to be fair, he had just come for an interview on MSNBC, and I think you were used to softball. So I think that's, that's probably what...